What is going on with residential real estate in Portland? Buyer demand dropped by 13% in just one week. Does this have something to do with really high interest rates that we've been seeing the last three, four weeks or so? Or is this just part of the normal ebb and flow of our typical market? Let's get in the numbers and see if we can find out. The average sale price this last week in Portland Metro rallied 2% higher than it was the previous week, but it's still $4,000 short of the high we saw two weeks ago, which was the highest average sale price we've seen so far this year. I suspect in the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be able to see whether or not we've hit our peak for the season. Typically the highest average sale price is um, some week in May towards the end of May. Last year it was the last week of May was our highest average sale price. This year it looks like it might have been two weeks ago. So we keep an eye on this number and see if it just starts to moderate throughout the balance of the year or if something else is going on here. As I mentioned earlier, buyer demand or the volume of new transactions, the number of homes that went under contract this last week, did decrease by 13% versus the previous week. You can see here that even with high interest rates over the last three or four weeks, that the buyer demand has remained relatively stable up until this last week when it dropped. As I've said before, one data point doesn't show a trend, so we'll watch this and see what happens next week. What I suspect this is though, is a bit of seasonal moderation. Usually sometime at the end of May, we hit our highest average sale price and our biggest volume of transactions, and we see moderation throughout the balance of the year. I went back in my notes to see what happened last year at this time, and we did see a very similar uh, situation uh, at roughly the same time period last year. The inventory is up, and I did go back and check my notes. We're not increasing as fast as we were last year at this time. Part of the reason for that is the number of new listings that hit the market. It's higher than we saw the previous week. However, last year at this time, that number was 909. Last up, what's coming down the pike in terms of foreclosures? Number of foreclosures on the market actually decreased by three. Number of short sales, those pre-foreclosure properties went up by one, so no real change there. Looking at the notices of default, which is the first step in the uh, foreclosure process, this last week there were only 10 that were issued, uh, and the previous week only seven. It's a really small amount, so we're probably not going to see this big cascade of foreclosures hitting the market and changing the dynamic. That's all the excitement I have for you this week. I would love a thumbs up or follow if you haven't followed already or a share if you know someone who might find this information helpful. Thank you as always for watching to the very end and I will catch you next week.